All right, thank you, Doc. A member of the military in close proximity with President Trump has tested positive for the coronavirus. The person, one of the president's valets, was diagnosed yesterday. The White House says both the president and vice president have since tested negative for the virus, and they are in good health. The White House tests all staffers for COVID-19 about once a week. Breaking news out of Washington in a stunning reversal. The Justice Department is asking the judge to drop the criminal case against Michael Flynn. The president's first national security advisor was charged as part of the Robert Mueller investigation. Flynn pleaded guilty in 2017 to lying to the FBI. But now the Justice Department says there was no legitimate reason for the FBI to interview Flynn. The president has said he was strongly considering a pardon. While so many families are heartbroken over the coronavirus, many more suffering financial pain, and their numbers are also growing. Nearly 3.2 million laid-off workers filed for unemployment last week. Now, remember, that number does not count anyone who can't get into the system. More than 33 million people have lost jobs across the country during the virus lockdowns. Only encouraging news, new filings have been decreasing the past five weeks. After 112 years in business, the luxury department store Neiman Marcus has filed for bankruptcy. It is the first department store to file since the COVID-19 crisis began, following J. Crew into bankruptcy court. Neiman Marcus says it has secured financing to keep operating and hopes to emerge from bankruptcy in the fall. Here's a quick look at the Dow Jones on our Thursday afternoon as the markets close. You can see the Dow um, closed 211 points up, which was obviously some good news for Wall Street. You can see the very latest numbers right there on your screen.